Okay, this question says, outline one piece of psychological research and justify how it relates to the above article. Now, if the question on practical application section C says, outline one piece of psychological research, you need to write basically an abstract for the study that's related to it. Now, the scenario was about leading questions. So the study that you need to summarise is the Lofts and Palmer study. So you basically need to write an abstract for it. So you need to write what the aim was, you need to write um, what the sample was, what the method was, what the procedure was, and what the findings were, and what the overall conclusion was. So it needs to be the full study, experiment one and experiment two. So you need to get used to, in fact, as good preparation, you should be having a summary of each study on a piece of paper so that you can just regurgitate that in the exam and you know the different bits of it that you need to remember when you're summarising a study because you could be asked to summarise a study on section B and you could be asked to summarise a study writing this question. Now it says and justify how it relates to the above article so you can't just whack that all at the end so you can't just describe the study and then whack it at the end you've got to justify it throughout so in this bit here when you say for example uh, finding showed that um, the verb smashed had a speed estimate of 40.1 compared to the word hit, which had a speed estimate of 34 miles per hour. You might say, you know, on question five, the interviewer said when the car smashed into you, was it travelling over 40 miles per hour? And then say, well, the victim will say yes, because they'll think that the word smashed means that it's quite a high estimate and would think that that was the right answer to pick. That would be one link. Now you might talk about, you know, Lofts and Palmer aim to find the effect of leading questions. This links to the article because the interviewer is asking a lot of leading questions. For example, you could see that the traffic light in front of you was green, couldn't you? This suggests that the interviewer wants the victim to say yes to that and they have said yes because they are hinting at what the desired answer is, which is to say that they could see that green traffic light. So you need to make those links throughout. Now at A2, you've got to make four links, but at AS, you only need to do about two or three. I would suggest three if you've got time, two if you've not. You get about four marks for describing the course study or outlining the course study, and you get two marks for the evidence. Now on some marks, it changes. So just in case it does, just put three on if you've got time. Um, and then you should be fine answering that question.